A major storm system is set to impact the United States over the next few days with significant severe weather being possible, including damaging winds, large hail, and a few tornadoes. Additionally, a brutal heat wave will be impacting the United States for the remainder of July with heat indices as high as 110 to 120 degrees across the country. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days, and we'll begin with what's happening across Across the country today and right now we've actually had some big storms across the central plains over the last 24 hours we did have some significant hail back over in nebraska yesterday including some hailstones that were as large as four inches in diameter off to the northwest of Kearney. now overall a lot of this activity is starting to shift to the east and we are expecting another big round of severe weather today and we're really watching three areas in particular one of which will be the ohio valley from the remnants of these storms we're also watching the northeast and then another area back over in the northern plains on the other hand areas along the gulf coast and in the southern plains are remaining fairly quiet for right now and i think it'll stay like that here for the next few days until tropical activity starts to kick up maybe later this july now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days beginning with today which is sunday and we have three different slight risks of severe weather in place one of which is across new england and also a little sliver of new york pennsylvania and new jersey also another slight risk in the ohio valley and then another one back over in the Dakotas, and a marginal threat connects all of this from Montana all the way back over into Maine, where all hazards of severe weather are on the table today. But the biggest concern with all the storms that we'll see this afternoon and evening will be damaging winds between 60 to 70 miles per hour. There will also be a threat for some large hail. We may even see some hailstones as large as two inches in diameter back over in the Dakotas later today, as discrete supercells will be a possibility. There's also a chance for a couple of tornadoes. We have three different 2% tornado risks in place today, which basically basically outlines areas that we may see an isolated tornado or two this afternoon and perhaps into the evening. So one area we're keeping an eye on is New England. Another area will be back over in the Ohio Valley and then also in the Dakotas. And each different region will have different timing of severe weather today. Areas like the Northeast, the tornado threat will be mainly during the mid to late afternoon. Back over in the Ohio Valley, basically any time from about 12 until 5 o'clock, maybe a little bit before and after that as well, but that's the main time frame. And then the Dakotas will be mostly during the late afternoon and evening hours. So make sure that you're staying weather aware we may have a live stream today if one of these threats really goes crazy so definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified if and when we do go live on monday the threat of severe weather will continue across the northern plains and also back into the southeast where isolated to widely scattered severe weather will be a possibility in both regions where we're expecting some isolated damaging winds and hail there's also a chance for an isolated tornado or two that'll be mainly over in south dakota and then as we go into tuesday and even days beyond this we are expecting the severe Severe weather threat to continue, especially in the northern plains, the central plains, and back into the Midwest. At least for Tuesday, we have a large marginal threat of severe weather in place right now, which does include the Dakotas, Nebraska, back into Minnesota, and Wisconsin. But I do fully expect that this will at some point become a slight risk of severe weather, as I do think we'll at least have scattered damaging winds, some large hail, and the potential for a few tornadoes. Wednesday and Thursday also look like days that we'll have to really keep a close eye on in this general area for additional severe weather chances. So make sure that you're staying weather aware, have multiple ways to receive warnings. It does appear likely that we'll be live at least a couple of times here over the next seven days with severe weather coverage. So click the bell icon so you're notified if and when we do go live. Now let's talk more about the timing of severe weather for the next several days, beginning with today back over in the Ohio Valley. A few storms will be out there this morning, mainly with the wind threat, very low tornado risk. Just after lunchtime, more storms are going to fire off across Ohio, back into Indiana and Illinois. And by around four o'clock, we're going to be expecting at least some scattered damaging winds and the potential for a couple of tornadoes. I think our greatest tornado corridor, if we were to see tornadoes today, will be in central southern Illinois and also southwestern Indiana back over near Terre Haute. By around 5 to 6 o'clock, damaging winds will continue. The tornado threat will start to lower after 6 o'clock this evening in the Ohio Valley, and we just got a lot of rain out there late tonight. There's also a moderate risk of excessive rainfall in place back over in parts of Illinois today, so definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware. Turn around, don't drown. We've had some big flooding over the last 24 hours back over in Indiana, Illinois, and Kentucky, and we obviously don't need more of that, but it's likely that we are going to see more today back over in Illinois and perhaps even in Indiana and Kentucky once again. So get ready for the potential of flooding here today as training showers and storms are possible. On Monday, another line of storms is possible back over in Illinois and Iowa that will likely move into Indiana late tomorrow night with isolated damaging winds being a possibility. Generally speaking, though, severe weather is going to be on the lower side of things with that 
that storm system. Back over in the northeast, we're expecting scattered severe weather today. We'll have storms ranging from Maine all the way back over into New York and Pennsylvania. Biggest concern will be downburst damaging winds. If we have any discrete storms out there, there could be a spit up tornado or two. But generally speaking, I think the tornado risk is low. Greatest chance for severe weather will be during the mid to late afternoon. And then we're clearing out as we go into Monday with nicer and drier weather. The northern plains, though, will not be an area that's going to have nicer dry weather over the next few days. As we go later into today, we're going to see a bunch of storms fire up in North Dakota. Damaging winds, large hail, the main concern during the afternoon. By the early evening, we may have a discrete supercell or two that split off from our initial cluster of thunderstorms. And these discrete storms may have the capability of producing an isolated tornado threat this evening back over in South Dakota. So stay alert for an isolated tornado risk. As we go into the overnight hours by early Monday morning, those storms will eventually move towards the Twin Cities and also northern Iowa, where damaging winds will continue to be a possibility. A few more storms possible during the late morning and early afternoon back over in North Dakota, and we may see another Boeing segment of damaging winds occur back over Minnesota on Monday afternoon. And then Monday evening, we got more storms out there across Minnesota and North and South Dakota with damaging winds, large hail, and an isolated tornado risk all being in play. So again, very active stretch of weather here over the next 24 to 48 hours in the Northern Plains. But guess what? It does not stop there because as we go into Tuesday, we are expecting even more severe weather across the Dakotas with damaging winds, large hail, and the potential for a tornado or two being a possibility on Tuesday across North Dakota, perhaps back into Minnesota as well. I do think on Wednesday that threat of severe weather will shift further down to the south and east, and we may see an organized area of severe weather, perhaps in Iowa, Wisconsin, or even Illinois on Wednesday. It's a little bit too early to tell exactly if that'll definitely happen, but that's what I'm currently leaning towards for the long-term forecast. And then beyond Tuesday, severe weather will likely continue across the northern and central plains and back into the Midwest. A little too early to tell what's going to happen on Wednesday, Thursday, but we're keeping an eye basically anywhere in this region for severe weather on Wednesday. It's too early to tell how significant it could be, if it'll be organized, or if it'll just be isolated severe weather. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll have daily updates if anything does change. By Thursday and Friday, we're going to likely see at least a little break back over in the Midwest and the Ohio Valley, but more severe weather is likely Friday and Saturday in the northern and central plains. And then by the time we get closer to the very end of July, I think the weather pattern is going to get somewhat quieter, especially if you're back over in the northern central plains, the Midwest, and back into the northeast. I really think as we go into August, the next big thing we're going to be talking about is the tropics. We don't currently have any really major areas of development right now in the Atlantic Ocean. There's one that has a low chance of development, but in the long term, we don't have any major threats for the United States. But as we get into the first week of August, I do think we're going to start to see hurricane season really kick into gear. So definitely be ready for that. We'll likely have some really detailed videos talking about the tropics here coming up very soon, especially for when we have more established systems that develop in the Atlantic Ocean. And something else that'll be happening over the next week is that we are expecting a big heat wave in the United States. Temperatures will be well above average anywhere from the Ohio Valley in the Midwest back into the Southern Plains by the end of this week. But even for the last week of July, we are expecting the temperatures to get even hotter across the Great Plains with well above average temperatures likely continuing. The temperature anomaly map here is indicating well above to potentially record breaking temperatures during the first day or two of August back over in the Central Plains. So get ready for some really hot weather here over the next few weeks. These are the high temperatures that we could see on Thursday of this week. Notice how most areas in the Central and Southern Plains will be well into the 100s. Dallas Fort Worth could be up to 106 degrees, which we've not had a 100 degree temperature yet in Dallas Fort Worth this year, which for the record, that doesn't usually happen in DFW. We usually see our first 100 degree temperature sometime in June. This is the latest that that's happened since 2021 so far. So we will likely hit 100 degrees there this week. By the time we go into the weekend and early next week, the very hot temperatures will continue in the northern and central plains. These are again the maximum temperatures that are basically forecasted. And if this heat wave does transpire for the very last day of July and even the first day of August, we could be talking about temperatures into the 110s in Nebraska, Kansas, and South Dakota. It could get dangerously hot in these areas. If you have respiratory issues, you definitely need to make sure that you're monitoring the temperatures and the weather in general very closely here over the next couple of weeks as some of the worst of summer is likely to come here in a very short period of time. These are the feel like temperatures that we could also be talking about here as we get closer to the end of July as well. Most areas will be feeling like the 100s for the next several days along the East Coast and back into the Central and Southern Plains. This is pictured for Saturday. And then eventually as we go into next week, it is likely going to continue and we 
will be talking about some very warm weather across the Great Plains here. We could even have feel like temperatures back up into Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri in the low 100s. So be prepared for some very hot weather. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Unfortunately, I was sick with a fever yesterday. I've now fully gotten over that. It's just mostly congestion now. You might hear it for at least the next few days until it is finally gone. But I just want to give you a heads up. And that's why we were not live either the last two days. And on top of that, not having a video. But again, make sure to subscribe to the channel. There will likely be another video tomorrow. And then on top of that, there is a low chance of a live stream both today and tomorrow. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys all again in the next video or live stream.